What's going on everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech and today we're going to be looking at a showcase of games that were ported to the RG351P using Amber Ports. What is Amber Ports? It is essentially a pre-compiler app that allows you to install and play ports on your AmberNIC RG351 device. And it also has to be running on Arc OS. One quick note I know I'll get some questions on this, so I better cover it now. When you install a port in Amber Ports, you're not really installing the game itself. You're installing the necessary files to make the game work in an environment that's not Windows. You will still need to provide the essential files of each game. It will tell you which files you need, but you need to have them. You will also run into a lot of bugs. You may run into game crashes. The team is working on it. You have to send them any log files you get. So when a game crashes in the directory of the game on your SD card, there will be an auto-generated log file that gives a bunch of information as to why the game crashed. And the team is asking that you send these log files to them so that they can make this work better. So if everybody sees this and does this and we all chip in to, at the very least, send the log files, That'll make it a better experience for everybody. So just a quick note on that. If you do do this and you do run into crashes, which you will, send those into them so that they can make it better. I tested more than seven games. We'll be looking at seven games. I tested more than that. These are the seven that I could get to run without spending an eternity trying to figure out why they're not running. So that's what we'll be looking at. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section or hit me up on our subreddit or Facebook or Twitter, wherever you like. Reach out to either of those ways and I'll get back to you and try to help you best I can. Also, if you find this video informative and enjoyable, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Now, let's get into some port action on the RG351P.
find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. So the games that do run, like the ones you just saw, run awesome, smooth. You may get a crash here and there, but when they are running, they run really smooth, good frame rates. I will be continuing to test these ports as they come out and as bugs get fixed. 
and I plan on doing an update video in the future with a larger amount of games that I can showcase. But for now, these are what I could get going without too much extra effort and too much time consumption. But being able to do stuff like this on this device just makes this device even better than it already is. Just being able to do from as old as NES and even older than NES, all the way up to DOS gaming, early PC gaming, and everything in between. It's really an awesome all-in-one device. Yes, it has its limitations. Yes, it doesn't do everything perfectly. But it's still really cool to be able to have all of that on one device that fits in your pocket and you can take it anywhere. Well, on that note, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I want to thank everybody for watching it. I hope it was enjoyable and I hope you all have a good day.